Okay, here's yet a more complicated uh, trigonometric expression. This time we can see we actually have a different trigonometric We have sine, we have tan, and our first aim is to solve this trigonometric uh, ratio as having a single tri trig ratio equal to a constant. Now, in this case, it's, it's not as trivial as just taking everything to the one side and um, all the constant to the other side. We first need to see, isn't there a way of making all the trig ratios into a single trig ratio? And the best way of doing that is first to try and change all of the ratios into signs and causes. Okay, so for example, tan can change into sine alpha over cos alpha. Okay, so that this expression here, we have sine alpha in the numerator over 1 times, because I'm dividing with a fraction, I tip in times, times cos alpha over sine alpha, and that's now where you see, okay, here's something that's going to help. Now I've changed sine and tan into a cos. I simply have that this expression here is equal to cos. So as I have 127 causes on the left hand side, I actually have 209 on the right hand side, so I'm going to subtract those on the right hand side from the left hand side, 209, okay, that's how many causes I in fact have. On the left hand, uh, right hand side I had 87, the right hand side I have a 15 that I'm going to take to the left hand side by subtract, uh, right hand side by subtracting it minus 15. That means my trig ratio equal to constant is that cos alpha is equal to, what do I have, 127 minus 209 gives me what? This seems to be negative 82, negative 82. On the left hand, the so right hand side, I have 87 minus 15, which gives me 72. 72, and if I divide both sides with this negative 82, I get 72 over negative 82. Very important, this must be less than 1, cos can never equal a number that's greater than 1. If it is, you stop right there and you write no solution, okay, or if it's less than negative 1, okay, so no solution. It is, in fact, the numerator is less than denominator, so in this case we do have a solution which means our next step is to find our reference angle which is 72 divided by 82 okay is negative uh, it should have a negative actually because we're dividing with a negative 82 uh, negative 0 comma 878 blah 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 that's not important our reference angle is taking the arc cause of that giving us 151.41 151.41 degree so that our general solution would be a general solution is alpha is equal to the reference angle plus 360 times k okay that's always the first solution for cos and sine and uh, for tan it's just plus 180 okay the second solution is the other quadrant where cos would be positive which is the fourth quadrant and all we need to do to get fourth quadrant is take negative Okay, negative of the reference angle. Okay, so this solution is 151,41 plus 360 degrees times k. And for this solution, it's just negative 151,41 plus 360 times k. And that's it.